Hello students, welcome to the channel. How are you doing? Please do well to subscribe to the channel. Now today, we are solving total surface area. I'm so sure you must have heard of this before. Total surface area. How do we solve it? It's very simple. You can see, for this one, we are doing the total surface area of a cylinder. How do we solve it? It's very simple. Now, for example, we said we want to calculate the total calculate the total surface area. That's seriously total surface area if the cylinder is too close to ended. This is an example of a cylinder. I'm so sure you can see cylinder. The cylinder. Can you see it's closed ended? That is, this place is closed. Likewise, this is closed. How do we now calculate it? You have to generate your formula yourself. This is closed. This is what we call curved surface area. The body is called curved surface area. This is the circle. You can see the shape circle. Now the area of the circle. I'm so sure you know the area of a circle is pi r square or pi d square over 4. Please don't forget. Either pi r square, if your radius is given, can you see this is our radius? Our radius is given here. But if it's diameter, we use pi d square over 4. Then this is also our curved surface area. Curved surface area. I'm talking about this body. It has its own formula, which is 2 pi r h. Very good. Let's now add everything together. We want to do the first one, which is two closed, two closed ended. That is, you can see this is closed, this is closed, this is closed. It means our circle is still a, isn't it? That is, our circle is still there. That is pi r squared, that's the area of our pi, our circle is still there. Then we also have the second one, which is our curved surface area. The body here is still there, which is 2 pi r h. And if you also check, we also have another one here because the two plate, the two um, covers here, they are closed. Now, this other one is also circle, which is also pi r square. How is clear? That's for closed ended. Now we have pi r squared plus pi r squared. That's 2 pi r squared because we have in two places two circles plus 2 pi r h. Let's not calculate it. You can see something is also common here. And if you like, you can do it separately. Okay, let's do it separately. For our 2 pi r squared, how do we solve it? Let's solve it. That is 2 times 22 over 7 times what's our radius 7 square which is 7 times 7 hope you're getting it so let's multiply it 7 divided by 7 so now 22 times 14 what's that 22 times 14 we have 22 times 14 i hope you're getting it which is 8 8 2 2 so we have 8 0 3 so our answer is 3 Zero eight centimeter square. We are through the first one. Then the second is two pi r h. Let's solve it as well. How are we going to solve it? It's also that is two times twenty two over seven. Our radius is seven times our height. This is our height, which is ten. So let's divide seven times seven. This is forty four times ten. That is four forty centimeter square. So let's add everything together. Don't forget our sign here. So we have 308 plus 440. So which is now let's add it here. 440308, which is 748. I hope you are getting it. So our answer is 748 centimeters square. That's all for two closed ended. Two closed ended. That's all for that. Now let's now go to two open ended. For the two open ended is also very simple. This is an example of two open ended. Let's do it together. Two open ended. As you can see, I formed my own cylinder. 
Isn't it? This is my own cylinder. Is that the cylinder? This place is opened. Likewise, this place is also opened. You can see, that's too open-ended. It's opened. It's opened. So the only thing that we have here, because the circle is not there, the circle is not there. The only thing that remains there is our curved surface area. What's the formula for our curved surface area? Do you remember? We wrote it, I wrote it here, 2 pi r h. So for the second one, which is 2 open ended. So, like I said, we have to pi only to pi r h because circle is not a circle, it has been removed. So we don't need it. So which is 2 pi r h. Don't forget to have solved it here. So, okay, you can as well submit it 2 times 22 over 7. Times so our R, our R is 7 and our H is 10. This cancel this to so our one side is 440 centimeters square. You are true with it, that one. That's all. Because our TSA here is also our CSA. What's the meaning of CSA? Curved surface area. It's the same thing as our total surface area here. Because we don't have any circle here, likewise, this we don't have any circle there. I hope it's clear. Now, the last one, which is one closed end day. The last one, we have one closed end there. How are we going to solve it? As you can see, this is our cylinder. We don't have the circle here, it has been removed. But this one is there. That's what we call one closed. And if this place is closed, this one is not closed. One closed end there. This one is closed, this one is open. So it means there's no circle here. So what's our TSA now going to be? TSA that is total surface area. What will it be? This one is not even the fading pi r square. So it means you have curved surface area, which is 2 pi r h plus which other one is there? Our circle here. Because our area of our circle, very good. Pi r square. Or can you remember? Pi d square over 4. But here we are not using diameter because it's radius that's been given here. So let's now add this together. We now have, let's, let's separate it, 2 pi r h, don't forget our answer, that is 2 times 22 over 7 times 7 times, so that h, 10. Let's cancel this, eventually we have 440 centimeter square, likewise our pi r square, let's do our pi r square. What's the pi r square going to be? 22 over 7 times, our radius is 7 times 7 as well. 7 cancel 7, so eventually you have 154 centimeters square. Can you tell me the last thing you're going to do? Can you see? We add together, the two together. So you have 440 plus 154, which is going to be what? 594 centimeters square. That's all. It's as simple as that. Don't forget, for your cylinder, that's three places, surfaces. We have the circle here, circle here, and your curved surface area. Don't forget, follow this to play your game. This is going to be your game, which is your classwork. Please, I said calculate the total surface area. If the cylinder is too closed ended, the two circles are there, too open ended, the two circles have been removed, then one closed ended. This is your radius, 14, and this is your height. Please make sure. You submit your answer in the comment section and please subscribe. Have a nice day. Love you all. Bye.